Hi, this program makes a dictionary of Morse codes. Zero is five dashes, maybe you know SOS, S is dot dot dot, O is dash dash dash. And I thought maybe there's a better way to write this code so that it's easier to read. Um, eliminate these apostrophes and the colon and the commas. So why don't we see if we can do that? Let's just select all these lines here, and then we'll use a regular expression, and we'll replace anything in the set of apostrophe, colon, comma, with nothing in the selection. So I do that, and now it's much nicer to read, but it's not valid Python anymore. Um, so what can I do? Well, let me take some of this code over to another file where we'll work on it. And I'll just work on a few, maybe A, B, C, and D. Okay, so we need to build that dictionary back, but from this. Now you may know that Python has this multi-line string. You do a triple quote. And so now what we have here is a string with four lines, and we can do something with that, with that string to build the dictionary up. Well, the first thing to do maybe is to split that string on the new line character so we can get the lines. So we could do something like um, lines equal uh, Morse codes dot split on new line. And then if we print lines, now we get, make that a little bigger here, we get an empty string and then a string with an A and a dot dash, a string with a B and a dash dot dot dot, and so on. Well, one thing we need to do is, and then at the end we also got an empty line, and that's because these these triple quotes are on a line by themselves, but I want to leave them that way because it looks nicer. So we'll have to eliminate these blank ones too. Um, okay, so let's do this. We have the lines. Um, how about if we put the split up here? And then I'll print the Morse codes, and we'll build from here. Just so you can see that I haven't changed the how uh, what it produces. Okay, so there are the codes, and I'm just going to rename this to make this shorter to codes. All right, and now I want to um, split each of these into the um, the symbol and then the code for it. So. We have codes, which is a list, and I can use a list comprehension to make a new list. So I'm going to say uh, SC for symbols and codes equals, and then a list comprehension. And in the list comprehension, we will take the, uh, we'll do this. So let's start with this, line dot split on space for line in codes. Okay, so for each line in the codes, and these are the lines in the codes, here's one line, here's one line. Really, you know, I should call them elements because they're array elements, they're not really lines. Okay. Um, and for each element in the codes, we'll split it on space. So let's see what we have now. Okay, now we have, let's ignore this empty one here. So we have some garbage at the beginning because there's spaces here. So we need to get rid of these spaces. So before we do the split, let's do a strip. That'll remove those spaces. Okay, 
Now we have this. So this looks better. We we'll still ignore the first. Here we have um, a list of lists. So here's the outer list. Here's the first element of the list here. Uh, here's the second element of the list. And inside here, um, this is a list itself. So it's got two elements in it. There's an A, and then there's a dot dash, which is um, the Morse code for an A. And I'm saying dash, this is really a hyphen, but we're pretending that the hyphen represents the Morse code dash. Um, maybe it's time to get rid of these things at the end. So we can add, we can add something here. We can say if element strip, which means after we've stripped off any blanks at the beginning or end, any white space, then if there is something here, something with a length greater than zero, then we'll include it. Otherwise, we won't. So let's run again. Now you can see we, this is looking better. We've eliminated the garbage at the beginning at the end. So we have a list of lists. Um, why don't we visualize this much in the Python Tutor Visualizer? So let's come over here. And I'm going to jump to the end so you can see the picture of this thing. Codes is, because we split it on new lines, codes is a list with this empty element at the beginning, and then the A and the B and the C and the D, and then the empty element. And SC that we made from the list comprehension, after stripping and splitting and excluding the blank ones, now is a list with these elements. And here's the first one. And this, this first or zeroth element of the list is another list, which contains two strings, this A and then the dot dash, and so on. Here's the B and the C and the D. OK, and then next we need to turn this back into <clears throat> the dictionary. So we'll now we'll use a dictionary comprehension. So we'll call this the symbols and codes dictionary. And a dictionary comprehension looks like this. So list comprehension uh, is made with square brackets. The dictionary comprehension is made with braces. And in here, what we're going to say is, um, so we're going to get these elements of the S and C. So I'll say element sub zero colon element uh, element sub one having a little trouble here uh, for element in SC okay so that compiles so remember SC is this list of lists and for each list inside this list there's um, a, um, a symbol and then the codes for it. And the symbol comes from here and the code comes from here. Um, so let's print SCD. I'll run it here. And you can see that now we've, we've got our dictionary. Um, interesting. We, oh, that's right. Dictionaries are not um, guaranteed to be in order. So that's why the A is over here. But now with this dictionary, we could look up something. So if I wanted to say, if I wanted to show the Morse code for, let's say, D, I could do this and use the dictionary like this. So here now comes out the Morse code for D. Okay, let's just see this in the visualizer now. Okay, so you see everything you saw before, and now you see the dictionary. Okay, so what's the point of this? The point of this is to go from, um, let me just revert this change here, or just go back. The point of this is to go from, and maybe I'll split vertically so you can see both at the same time. So here's the 
A, B, C, D part with all the quotes and the colon and the comma. And then here it is in this more clean fashion. So even though it takes a little bit more work to produce the dictionary, um, I think that it's worth it for making this much easier to read. Um, okay, so what did we learn? We learned about uh, list comprehension. I didn't explain it in great detail. Uh, and we learned about a dictionary comprehension and um, making the code easier to read.